Blow the lights, you know what's up when I'm rolling up, baby. Now tuned in to hip hop since 1987.com. Me. Shout my hip hop since 1987, niggas. Hip hop since 1987.com. It's your boy Rick Dange here at South by Southwest with the legend. What's happening? Loaded Lux. It's good with you, man. To be, man. We out here jamming. Okay. South by Southwest 2014. The dream is real. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's real. Okay. Yeah, we've been seeing you mobbing through the streets at all the big events. Yeah, yeah. And I know uh, you definitely have smashed down a couple stages while you've been out here. You hear my voice? Yeah, I hear you crazy voice. <laughs> so what's good with you, man? What are you, what are you working on right now, man? Just jamming. Um, uh, right now, uh, as far as projects, I'm completing Beloved 2. You know what I'm saying? That's the EP uh, setting where, you know, try to keep intimate records going. Okay. Um, that and, you know, about to get ready for another Slugfest, you know? Okay. It's that yeah. time again? It's that time again. Who, who you Slugfesting with, man? Oh, this one is, uh, 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 we rekindling this old flame, baby. Okay. It's the rematch. My first rematch ever, man. It's going to be against Murder Mook. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, I believe in my heart of hearts, one of my most formidable opponents, man, I've ever faced in the ring. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> also, one of the predecessors, you asked me, to, to, the, to the new age, you know, where we, of, of doing things. So, okay. this is going to be one for, for the ages, one for the books, you know what I'm saying? And just for me, in terms of just getting to another level of myself, and I got to keep challenging myself, okay. you know? Right. He's definitely one. So, you said a uh, battle and murder move. What pl First of all, when is that battle, and what platform is that battle going to be at? Uh, I believe it's going to be in July, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. I think the, I believe the battle, battle is July 12th, and uh, it's going to be done with uh, Shady. Um, I think the name of the uh, show is going to be Total Slaughter. They, they, they fused it with a, a, like a reality show setting, you know what I'm saying? Give people a more in-depth look, you know, at, at, at the characters that's in battle rap and, you know, what we represent, and not only that, uh, what we go through to make this thing, you know, uh, a show. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, uh, I think it's a good look. Uh, shout out to Shady. And uh, them, you know, just shed more light on the culture, you know? Okay, now you're a vet in the game. I can remember legendary battles with you and Jay Mills way back when. Yeah, yeah, and man. It's like battling has really come to the forefront now where kind of like you yeah. are not a new face. Of, even though you've been doing it for a while, it's like yeah, yeah, you're the yeah. face of something big that white America, black America, suburban America is now really hip to. Yeah. What do you attribute to your longevity? I love what I do. I'm in love with what I do. You know, really passionate about the, the craft, the art. Um, you know, I think we all have that thing that we're, it's, it's almost therapy for us. You know, when we're doing it, when we're, we're that, we're just the most peaceful in our mental states, you know? And that has to deal with you having a sense of purpose, you know, in terms of why you're here. We're all here to fill a void some way or some uh, uh, another to make the world go around, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, just, I just, I love what I do, really, truly, okay. you know? That's dope. Now, I know you made history with the Calico battle. Yeah, A lot yeah, of people were on Calico. the fence, you know what I mean? A lot of people was on the fence about you versus Hollow the Don. Mm-hmm. What's your take on the battle, man? Um, I mean, honestly, um, it's, 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 it's in tune to you know, you going on a, in on a subjective, which you mm -hmm. like, and opinionated issues is, is, is always the case in battle rap and I think music in general, you know what I mean? You can take from it what you will, but I think all of it is thought provoking in terms of the contrast between uh, I and Hollow the Dawn, you know, what his content represented and what I, and I, what I came to uh, propagate, you know what I'm saying, in terms of the, the whole matchup. I still stand on what I stand on. And, you know, he came in from the angle you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, I guess what we was we was keying in on with the first battle with Calico, you know, coming, you know, at, at, at the whole uh, lost nigga bit and everything like that. So, you know, that was the whole idea for the um, what we went with, with with the theme with the Panthers and everything. You know what I mean? Uh, I figure Hollow, you know, in his doctrine, speaking on what he spoke on, he still liked me though. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Coming from where we come from, being in the art form. But at the same time, it would seem like he's he's rogue, though. He went rogue on us, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> We're doing what he's doing. And I'm, I'm just trying to hear the, you know, build and enlighten. And, and, and but at the same time, you know, you need that contrast, you, you know what I mean? Without joy, you know what I'm saying? There would be no pain and vice versa, you know what I mean? Day, night, we, we need it all. So it was good for us to come through with this demographic gap. And just for people who, who look at it, and whoever you like and whoever you went with, 
let the conversation be thought provoking. Mm -hmm. And that's cool. But I did, as far as where I, from, where I come from, we're both winners. But, you know, I definitely feel I won on sticking to the script, you know what I mean, and everything I'm here to do. So, you know, uh, take what you will from it. But as long as it's, it's keeping you in the think tank, I'm at peace with it. Yeah. You hear me? Would you give him a rematch or that's, that's done and you moving on? Nah, nah. You know, love is love. You know, hey, you never know. But as far as what was vital uh, in terms of that feat, I think we did what we supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? Now, you definitely raised the bar for what the payment aspect in battle rap is supposed to be. And for a lot of people that, you know, to run businesses or people that get to bread in the streets, we understand it like it's mm -hmm. a business. You're getting this money. You, somebody else is getting money. They're supposed to break bread. Where do you see the battle game in the next few years financially? And where do you see yourself, not just as a as an artist, maybe mm -hmm. more as maybe you're going to have people underneath you that's going to be battling now. Like, mm -hmm. where do you see yourself? All of that's possible. I think as long as the art, the artists stay true to the art in, in, in the culture, um, the interest will be true and it will, it, will, it, will, it will keep blossoming. Only because, you know, people are, are very receptive, you know what I mean, to, to, to things that make sense. And things, you know, when, when you're doing what's true, automatically it's going to resonate with someone else, you know what I'm saying? It's because it's, it's coming from a true place. So as long as the artist, man, home men on, on the craft and do what we're supposed to do, the interest will continue to grow. You know, people will, will keep being inspired and influenced by battle rap. I mean, you know, sky's the limit truly with this thing. So everything you just said and spoke on, yes, it's very possible, you mm -hmm. know. Okay. Yes. Now, this is this is this gonna be a tough question. Maybe it isn't. So who who are some battle rappers besides yourself that you respect and that you like? And on the flip side of that question, mm. who's some battle rappers that maybe you don't think are if you wanna go to that you don't really like that like that much? Um as far as uh, names that that are that are respectable and, and relevant to the game, because you know, obviously they they have done something thus far, mm -hmm. you know, to 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 achieve success yep. and, and to have a brand worth speaking on. So, um, ah man, I, I commend everybody. Feel me on this. I commend everyone that stands on that stage, on that platform, with the name. You know I me. Mean? I know what it is to write. I know what it is to conjure these thoughts and these ideas and and uh, to put them, you know I me, mean, in, in this design, the way it's just so poetic, you know what I mean? When you get it, you know, it just, it does something for you. So there's not one artist that, that, that stands up there to do what they do that I don't respect and don't commend. And I tip my hat to all of them. There's no one that I say, nah, I don't know. You know, other at times, you know, even with those that I respect, I see where we can always be better in, 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 in certain uh, endeavors like maybe a battle or two that we could have came harder in. I mean, that's even for myself. That's for everybody. Though, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're all trying to get better, and we're all fueling each other. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? We we all need one another, man. It's strength in numbers, and we all brothers of the cloth, <sighs> and we do our thing. You know what I'm saying? Shout my hip hop since 1987, niggas. Hip hop since 1987. Hip -hop since 1987. Hip -hop since 1987. Hip -hop since 1987.